the next function in python string methods list is find which i will be showing you today in this video what's up internet i am manish from rebellionrider.com where we make learning computer programming fun today's video is all about string method find in python programming so without wasting much of your time let's start but first if you find this video helpful then please don't leave without pressing that thumbs up button also this year i'm aiming for 1 lakh subscribers therefore please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks let's start to clear the confusion let me tell you for the demonstration we will be using two strings first will be the base string this will be our main string onto which we will perform the search the second string will be the search string this will be the string which we will try to find in our base string so for the demonstration our base string will be I am busy learning python with rebellion writer and the search string will be rebellion writer using this information we will create a few examples but first let's quickly take a look at the syntax of the python string method find as usual the function call starts with its name which is find in this case similar to other python string methods that we have discussed the function find also accepts three arguments these are search string as said earlier this is the string which will get searched in the base string start index is an integer value which specifies the index number from where the interpreter will start the search and index is again an integer value which specifies the index number where the interpreter ends the search except from the first parameter which is search string the other two are optional if you choose not to specify any of the optional parameters then the interpreter will use the default values for example if you do not specify the start index then the interpreter will use the default value which is 0 similarly if you do not specify the end index then the interpreter will assign the default value to it which is the last index number of the base string with which you are using the function now let's do some examples in the first example we will do a simple search here we will aim to learn what the string method find of python programming will return if the search is successful or if it is not let's do that editor of choice will be atom if you want you can use whichever editor you prefer Here we have a fairly simple code. In this code, I first declared a variable base underscore string and I stored our base string into it. Then I declared another variable search underscore string which is holding the string which we want to search in our base string. Then finally, we have our function call. To call the string method find of Python, we first need to write the name of the string object which in our case is the name of the variable base underscore string followed by that we have a dot operator and then the function call with the proper parameters as you can see here in this case i have called a string method find using only the first parameter which is the search string let me explain you what will happen when we execute this code so that you can nail your interview when the interpreter executes the code it will take the string which is stored in the string object and will perform the find operation on it it will try to find the substring which we have passed as the parameter of the method if the search is successful then it will return the lowest index number of the base string where the search string is found let's execute and see the result so the result is 31 which means the interpreter found the string rebellion rider at the index number 31 in the base string now let's see what will be the output if the search is unsuccessful to check that let's modify our search string from rebellion rider to pizza let's see if the interpreter finds any pizza in the base string or not so the output is minus 1 apparently the base string does not contain any substring as pizza that is why the search is unsuccessful and 
when the search is unsuccessful, the string method find returns minus 1. So now we know that if the search is successful, then the string method returns the lowest index number of the base string where the search string is found. Otherwise, it returns minus 1 as the result. Let's do another example. Let's say I want my search to start from index 31 and and at index number 40. The search string once again will be the rebellion rider. Before I will execute the code, let me tell you that the search will be unsuccessful and the result will be minus 1. Let's execute and see. See, the result is minus 1. You must be wondering why the search is unsuccessful when we have our search string at index 31. Although we have our search string at index number 31, but it does not end at index 40. When the interpreter starts the search, it looks for the exact match of the search string in the base string. When I say exact, I mean every single character of the search string must be found in the base string, otherwise the result will be unsuccessful. That's exactly what happened in our case. Our search string starts at index number 31 in the base string, but it doesn't end at index 40. Rather, it ends at index 46. That is why our result is minus 1. If we modify the value of end index and replace it with 46, then we will get the proper result, which will be the lowest index number. Let's see. The value of end index has been changed. Now, let's execute. Here is our result. For more examples and details of the topic, please read the corresponding blog. Link is in the description. That's it for today. If you enjoyed watching, then please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends on your social media. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.